just some techniques, a couple techniques from paper to using different embellishments to sand and to add, even using acrylic paint. So we want to first start off okay, with... Okay, I just want to say one thing. So I think it's important to note that with this formula, we talked about no brush strokes and all that stuff, but it is a glue and sealer. So it's going to work <laughs> just like your just traditional... Just like your regular mouthwash. Yeah, box. you'll be able to glue your paper down, seal your paper down, but in addition to that, you can glue down all of your embellishments. So even a flat back gem, you're going to be able to glue that down without using hot glue or tacky glue or anything like that. So what happens is it doesn't get that ring around it. So if you use too much glue, you put your thing, you're going to get you know too much around it. So it's glue, sealer, and your 3D embellishment. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to shake your bottle. Now there is a matte formula and a gloss formula. The matte formula you want to shake a little bit more because it does separate. So just make sure before you use it, you shake, 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 and get those elements moving together. With the gloss, you don't have to do it as much, but you still want to give it a couple shakes. We call it priming. You want to get yourself a paper towel and prime it first. And all that is is pumping it one, two, about three times, all the way down just to get it circulating through the tube inside of it. Next, get your surface, whatever you're going to be using. We're going to start off with paper. We're going to move on to a bunch of other things in a bit. But we're first going to do paper. So on your surface, you're just going to spray four times. That's it. And then on your paper, you're going to put that down on your back side about four times. You're going to lay it down on top of whatever surface you have. Press it down, and of course, like regular Mod Podge, you want to use your fingers. If there are any wrinkles or air bubbles, you're going to push that down. But weirdly, this gives less wrinkles and less air bubbles than your regular Mod Podge. Now, other, your regular Mod Podge, sometimes people have complained, I put it on too thick, I put it on too thin, I can't get the wrinkles out, you know, the air, there's a lot of air bubbles. I'm just going to show this to you guys really quickly. That's how fast it is, and it's completely... It's That's just so straight great. down. And you guys using regular Mod Podge, you know how that, how the regular Mod Podge works. Now I do want to say really quickly, this does not eliminate the other Mod Podge, the family <laughs> of other Mod Podge. That product is amazing too. Um, it's just different and I think you guys are going to be able to figure out when to use this and your traditional Mod Podge. Yeah, Once if you're doing layered up collages and stuff, your, your traditional brush-on formula really works great for that. This is more like kind of fine art too, and if you do a lot of mixed media, because you can add those embellishments and those 3D pieces. Once that's done, all I'm going to do is, and that's it. I'm going to set it aside and just let it dry. Um, you can add right on top of this if you'd like to. You can put your embellishments right on top on the flat surface. I could add whatever I want on top of this. Again, spray and seal and then set it aside. Um, and that's basically your paper, how that would work. Now one thing that's different about this formula, it, with your regular formula, if you do um, wet paper and wet surface, it's not repositionable. If it's maybe down too long down.
go past the front. Do you, do you want to pass on Yeah. So then you can just seal it. Yeah. And that will hold all of that sand in. <laughs> and those embellishments, there's my embellishments. <laughs> Yeah. And the seashells are also attached just by laying them on. Look at that, you guys. It's pretty cool, right? However, you want them. So you place them down, and then the important thing is you want to spray over it again. So then you just spray over it. And then you would set it aside to dry. It's going to dry perfectly clear. You're not going to get any of those wings around your embellishments that you might with the other types of glues. And then this is three four hours totally solid. Um, if you look on the seashells there, you can see how even embellishments that aren't flat back, that are curved and seashell you know, or organic shape, even those stick down perfectly good. And see if you can show you that with the china as well. Yeah, this is crazy to me because again, when we started playing around with this, I mean, this is a curved piece, right? So, so if you put it on a flat surface, it's just these three little points that are going to go down. <coughs> these I did earlier today. This is other demonstration two hours ago. These pieces here. Um, it's kind of a finished piece. You guys can pass this. You want to pass it? Yeah. So let me show you how this is done. I'm just going to do a section because I've been doing two sections at a time. All you'll do again. Right now, and then it comes out and spray the section. And then, and I'm going to walk around with this. I'm going to put two pieces down, and that's it. That's all you do. So from this, I want you guys to feel this. This whole, that is going to be like cement wow. in about two hours. And one thing that's so cool is if you're doing mosaic stuff for home decor for the wall, usually you would have to put down your glue or your So hand, just from the Mod Podge so down. It takes a lot more weight. So that's two that's hours. how strong. For that's two hours. Not wow. adding that and it's still full yeah. care in 24. Well, so like, what I always say when people ask me how long it takes to dry, I always say 24 hours. Unless you have like an emergency yeah, crack project that you have to do, you know? Yeah. Let it dry. Yeah. incredible about this product and the adhesiveness to it and how strong it is it's water-based and non-toxic so you know there's no chemicals in this and that's kind of a big deal for us in plaid because that you know no toxic products um, as far as the Mod Podge goes so it's a big deal for them because they found something they made something that could hold all your craft projects down without any type of chemicals in them so um, you can also use it as a marbling medium and a pouring medium. And a lot of the pouring mediums that are out there are like a 50-50 ratio or you know 40-30, that kind of thing. And with this, you're only going to use a tiny amount of the Mod Podge Ultra. And Good afternoon, everyone. The 2019 Creativation Show will be closing in just a little bit over 15 minutes. <laughs> Please join us at the Industry Award Ceremony in Tricky Trade Drawing starting at 5 o'clock tonight at the Creativation Stage in booth 1334. If any exhibitors have any lost and found items in their booths, please bring them to the show office so we can return them to their owners. I am looking for a variety of interesting things, including a funny book about husbands. The show office is located next to the registration area across from Hall 6. So and for your information, really once the show floor closes um, at 5 o'clock today, you will be admitted <laughs> back into the hall to attend the awards ceremony. Um, I'm show you so stick around like until 5, head over to the Creativation Stage, booth 1334, check your look on the Tricky Trade Drawings, and see who gets posting rights. See you there. So I'm just going to add a little bit. So if you do like about, I was seeing like just a dollop, and then you just do like, like that much, like barely, 
Regular acrylic. Yeah, any acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. And you can use any color you like. So, so then you just mix it up, and you want it to be um, not too runny, but runny enough that it will, you know, glide around on your project. Like syrup. So it will um, make it so that you're just like any of the pouring mediums, so that you don't Good. get a muddy brown. You know, you don't want it to get. So we'll keep this separation, which is nice. So you can see, I just mix it up. <laughs> uh, like mad scientists. You can just move it all around. Hopefully it's looking good since I'm looking at the back of it. Looks <laughs> good. <laughs> Looks good. So that's how you can use it as a pouring medium. Now so there's also gloss and there's matte. So this will turn out to be a glossy look. This is with the matte form. And, and that's kind of rare. Like it's very hard to get a real matte like that, it's going to be different looks. <coughs> and you can see we've done this on canvases and all sorts of things, but it really works great on 3D objects as well. Yeah. As well. So if you have like a old thrift shop lamp or some pottery or some funny thing that, you know, just a figurine and you want to do this to it, it works amazing over 3D objects. Any questions so far? Yeah. yeah. This will dry probably, well, you got to wait for the paint and the medium to dry, so probably like four hours total. Okay. Um, and then we like to see Somebody asked that earlier. I have not done it, but I, I know, you know people what? do it for class yeah. a lot. You probably could, or you could use it to move it around. Or some people do an air gun, you know, different things. They are going to Or yeah, adding bubbles and things. Um, so it's really, yeah, you can see it really starting to marble. Right I mean, there. again, if it was an emergency, we talked about the emergency yeah. crafting. You <laughs> yeah. could put it on low temp to dry it. Yeah. But we always say, if, you, if, you, if you're not in any hurry, let things dry overnight. Yeah. It's always the best. Yeah. But if it is an emergency, if you're going to put heat on it, low heat. And for your embellishments, for sure. What's that? Quickly. It dries quick, especially paper to paper, dries really quick, and then the flat back embellishments dry faster than the curves because you're trying to hit those points. Um, and then it's really cool too with fibers. Um, if you look at the front of the booth, there's some fake cactus plants and things like that. I'm going to bring one over. And the crown, and so you can do it on laces, you can get some laces, you can do it on felt to create 3D objects, all sorts of things. So we also did it with yarn, and the yarn is really, do you want to do this or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. We have the crown. Yeah. Let's show so, this up. Rolled yarn and then using the spray Mod Podge, we just sprayed it and here. feel. <laughs> You can feel how these things are. Um, all different fibers, so cotton, polyester. Yeah. 
So we want to show you some felt oh. projects. Kathy, wear your crown. So this is felt, oh. and this is felt, and it's a Mod Podge Ultra. Is there any so, in between? No. Oh my God. And here is the crown. That is seriously like mind blowing. That's lace. So that's the lace. So a lot of people are using these for uh, newborn photography. Uh, with baby by this. So, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be the biggest. If this, miss, if this goes missing in the booth, don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> so, this is just sip and lace. So, you can do all sorts of things. You can do, um, you just spray cotton fabrics and put it over shape and create little things. So, if you wanted to do like cheesecloth goats or mini little whatevers, you can use it to sip in fabric too. And that, um, on the pot, I don't know if you showed you guys but that's embroidery floss just kind of yeah yeah also the embroidery floss you guys I didn't show you that but this is all done with the uh, ultra also that's and if you guys haven't checked the front yet the very front of the booth there's a whole wall that displays all of the projects that were done with the ultra so you can take a look at that after that looks like a real time to me <laughs> I really I had no idea yeah it's about who knew <laughs> So, um, right now, the new Mod Podge Ultra is available for pre-order at Amazon. If you guys were signed up for the class, you should have some in your bag. Um, I know some of you weren't signed up, but you're here, and thank you. <laughs> um, and also, it hits the stores in the spring. So, spring, it will have it. Um, this February, Steve and I are going to be doing about an hour-long Make It With Mod Podge Live on Todd's Facebook uh, page so we will walk through a little bit more intensive not these exact projects but um, we'll show you all the different steps and show you the different fibers that you can do with it the different types of papers and different types of projects everything from jewelry to home decor to fashion so that will be in February yeah I'm excited for you guys to try this stuff out and please if you guys make projects send us a picture we yes want to see everything make sure you there. always tag clad crafts so yeah. they can see what you're making and then they, they can it. like and share for you and, you know, help you generate more love. Any <laughs> other questions? Okay. Yeah, you guys have fun with it. Guys.